So I don't think you can trust your bank. Um, so they, they have proven to be unreliable. They leak data. They, um, they don't keep your privacy or they don't, don't really you know, keep your records straight. So, so no, I think we need a new system where banks are, uh, and if you're gonna talk about regulation, I think banks should be regulated to not resell my records. So when I get a mortgage as the company, don't go resell that mortgage to you know, another third party. I, I, those things are, uh, in my, my view, uh, unacceptable. They, they really need to get their act together or else the next generation of folks are gonna go in are just going to reject them. Remedy is always advertised, but it's not always true. Somebody's going to be on the losing end of a failed transaction. Um, so you charge, so you bought a widget X from, from some website, you don't like it, you reverse the cost. It's the, uh, the reseller at that point that's going to eat the cost. Or sometimes it's disputed and I've had it myself where um, there was some sort of policy and I got uh, charged as a, um, over and over again and I could not make that stop because, you know, there was a little piece of paper that said on the, uh, it was actually a hairdresser, uh, it happened to my wife. And so they basically kept charging because once you go there and it's a renewal thing and we lost that money. So not a lot of remedy for in certain cases, but cryptocurrencies are permissionless. So, um, and that's actually entirely, entirely the point. So as a sovereign human being, I should be able to transact with another human being. Uh, there are pro plenty of laws in all the countries in the world to, uh, to penalize criminal behavior. So and they have big men with big guns to stand behind those laws. So as long as you're not breaking the law, what is wrong with me handing somebody you know, a $15 bill, which is the equivalent of using cryptocurrency? Well, Problem? sorry, but Libra in my point is completely pointless. Um, it is, will not receive any adoption for, for a number of reasons. One of them is basically going to compete with central banks. Central banks will never give up that power. Um, from a user's perspective, uh, what does it add? What do I get out of Libra that I don't get out with my credit card today or uh, you know, PayPal or any one of those, those uh, payment or Apple Pay? I don't see the user experience changing. And if it, there is no change in user experience, I don't expect it to be picked up. So I, I don't foresee a very bright future for Libra. If you have access to Facebook, you have access to cryptocurrencies. Uh, if you have an internet connection and a cell phone, uh, you can be your own bank today. So uh, from a accessibility perspective, uh, I don't think that argument holds up. So for example, the Decred project has contractors in Africa and we pay people out in Decred and Decred only. So they receive that, you know, using their internet connection. So they, they are paid in our cryptocurrency and we do that with people worldwide. And we don't need a third party sitting there in the middle and, you know, messing with that but that system, I don't need a third party to do escrow because it's person to person. It's essentially cash transaction. That's actually ha actively happening in places like Venezuela. So people are using Bitcoin and Decred to make payments because of hyperinflation. Uh, it's pretty hard to buy a piece of, you know, bread costs more tomorrow than it did today. And uh, in having a, uh, a cryptocurrency that you can use uh, as cash, essentially, that is not at this point less volatile than the actual local currency, that is a powerful use case for permissionless banking. And if you use uh, Decred today, uh, you're not going to get regulated because it's permissionless and it's cross, uh, it's cross boundaries, it's transnational. Uh, the next generation of folks are just going to be less receptive to the amounts of regulations that have been happening. People want to be able to, fr want to be free to transact and do business worldwide. And, and, and that is a force that I think is going to sweep the globe. Uh, and we are seeing, we are now at the very beginning of that. And I honestly don't think there's a stopping it. Someone's asking what sort of security measures do you have in place to protect customers' data? Be curious to hear, you know, what, what Decred does versus uh, Western Union. Well, since, versus... since you're on your own bank, you're the uh, owner of your own identity. So we don't have customer data, so it can't be stolen. It's, it's pretty simple, right? So it's on me to protect my, my own identity and protect my own uh, cryptocurrency. Well, but that is one bank, right? That is not all banks. I mean, we can talk about Equifax as well. Um, there's been so many data breaches where data has been leaked and uh, social security numbers, credit card numbers. I, I typically have to replace my credit card once a month because it's been stolen somewhere. So, you know, uh, a bank doing it right uh, does not make the entire industry good, right? And, and I think, Nor again- to make it entirely bad. It, well, uh, if it's one out of uh, thousands or 10 out of thousands, and I think that the industry is generally bad. They need to do a better job of protecting the customers and protecting entities. And, and you know, they, they simply are not. It, you know, at this point, hackers have won and it is tragic. Although Equifax is not a bank. No, but they do have very personal data that Indeed. should have never been, uh, should have never been breached and it's 128 million people 
uh, that got their social security numbers leaked, their credit scores. It, it's, it's, it's outrageous. They make it very well known to the customers almost immediately. They also will come in and refund your money because in, at least in the United States, they're FDIC back. They don't refund my social security number. Your social or my driver's license number that has been stolen. I agree. We have certain data that could be found on, in the individual, yes, but they can flag that. And you can flag that with several of the, like with Equifax, with uh, TRW, and also with um, Experian. You can flag that, and you can work with them so that would not happen again. But it, the onus is on me. Why am I the one doing the work? Uh, if I do not play in this system, then I don't have to be worried about it, right? I'm the one responsible for my own security. So I, I think we have a pretty diametric view here, uh, because I think that the banks have not done a good enough job and not just the banks, but you know, industry in general has done a poor job of pr protecting customers. And you know, I think it's time for us, the, the citizens, to take back some of that power and protect our own data. Learn more about the future of finance at decred.org.